This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Vero model TS4215 Armored Shutter Lock. This is a relatively small shutter lock, only about 60 millimeters across, but the lock does have some really nice features. First, the construction. The lock body is of a two-piece design. We start with a brass interior, which provides excellent corrosion resistance, and then that's surrounded by a hardened steel armor that provides resistance to physical attacks. On the other side, we have the lock's keyway, and you can see it's a reverse Yale-style keyway that is very paracentric, so we are going to have some trouble navigating that keyway. What it guards is equally impressive, and if we look at the key, we can see that there is an awful lot of cuts on it. Let's count them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pins in there, which is very unusual, particularly in a lock of this size. So we're gonna see what it takes to get into this lock. We'll definitely have some challenges with that keyway and the seven pins, so let's get started. I'm gonna use bottom of the keyway tension with a wiper insert right there and to get through that keyway, I am probably going to need a 15 thousandths thick pick. And I'm just going to use a standard hook. So right away, when I put tension on this lock, I see a lot of movement on the core. And I'm wondering if that means that all of those seven pins are spools. Because I know Vero's to be relatively well-made locks, and that sort of slop is uncharacteristic. So let's get started. Okay, counter rotation on one, and we set what's probably a spool onto two. Counter rotation, got him set. Nothing on three. Counter rotation on four, got him set. Five, same thing. Got five set. Six set. And counter rotation on seven. Mm. Seven doesn't want to set. There we go. I think I overset seven actually. You release a little bit of tension. Okay, let's go let's check seven again. There we go. Got seven set this time. Let's start at the beginning again. One feels set. Two, three. Okay, it looks like we dropped four at some point. Reset him. Number five feels, mm, no, five counter rotation. Ah, oh, come on, five. Getting counter rotation, but he does not want to set. Probably I'm having difficulty with that keyway. Let me adjust my angle a bit. There we go, and got the lock open. Okay, that felt like seven spools in this lock, which is not a slouch at all, and pretty good tolerances. We were dropping some pins when others were being set, which definitely makes for a challenging pick. So, a tiny little shutter lock, but definitely some fight out of him, and definitely some great characteristics as far as the build goes as well. All in all, a pretty nice lock. So this has been the Vero model TS4215. If you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.